Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about our file format based reporting products. So these are products that we have uh, had uh, for over 10 years now, um, very mature, uh, very, very uh, functional and highly capable of uh, delivering the finest reports. They're a little different from uh, standard reporting uh, packages. We have a standard RDL based reporting engine that is what you see is what you get. Uh, you drag and drop and create the elements of a report and then uh, you can serialize the report or share them with other users uh, through a web-based server system. That is the traditional way of uh, reporting. The key difference here is with the traditional way of reporting, you create a basic report format, uh, you lay it out, and then you're able to persist it out as Word or Excel or PDF file formats. So it's more of a common denominator approach to all these different file formats. With our file format based reporting package on the other hand, it's targeted at a particular file format. So uh, we have support for Excel, we have support for Word, we have support for PDF. Uh, we recently added support for PowerPoint as well, um, named the presentation library. So in, in this case, if you take Excel for instance, we target Excel at a very low level. So any feature that you want to enable on that spreadsheet is accessible. And I can illustrate that probably the best uh, is to look at an example. So this is our Excel um, uh, file format library and then these are the, some of the samples that you see on the left side. I want to kind of uh, zoom in and look at a couple of samples. First one I'm going to look at is the Sparkline sample. So I'm going to run this uh, sample, it compiles it, um, and I'm going to say create a document. Um, it's going to go ahead and show it to me in Excel. So in this document you see a nicely formatted table with colors and also you see that the created the spark lines uh, for, the, for the data basically. So this whole thing uh, was not created from an Excel template. It was not created using Excel automation or Office automation. It was completely from scratch generated uh, using our uh, C-sharp library. So if you look at the code, you see the Syncfusion XLSIO library. That is really what is used to um, bring in and uh, generate these things. You can use a template uh, to lay out basic things, but you don't have to. You can create everything from scratch as well. Another example that will kind of uh, drive this home a little bit more is our pivot table example. A lot of business users like seeing pivot tables. So in this case, I'm going to just create a pivot table. I uh, want to look at it inside Excel now. And it's done the exact same way. Uh, you see the data here, and then you see it configured as a pivot table. And I can go in and actually work with it um, as a pivot table. I can um, add measures or you know remove uh, columns or rows, filters, whatnot. So as for business users, you can easily export data from your system and send it to um, Excel. So this is really what I mean by um, lower level targeting, very precise targeting of the Excel file format. It's very full-fledged. Um, you can also consume Excel files. Uh, so if you are having customers send you uh, data in Excel format, you can um, really have that pulled into your system and then you can extract information from that, uh, extract um, you know anything that you need in context for your application. We also have a similar package for Word. And uh, one interesting sample that uh, I would like to show here um, is the mail merge uh, sample. So it's a very common requirement for applications to be able to do a mail merge. So I'm going to launch the sample and then uh, we'll look at the template. So the template is um, just a document with the mail merge fields all um, set up. Um, but there's no actual data. It's not personalized for anyone. So I'm going to uh, close that and then look at the actual uh, code, uh, actual generated document. So let's say I select this third company and then say I want to generate a document. I want to do it in Word 2013 format. So there it comes up and uh, you can see that it filled in all those fields that we had as uh, merge fields in the template. So super simple to use. Uh, again, no dependency on any SDK. Uh, it's just everything is self-contained within a .NET assembly that we provide. And uh, we do a lot of the heavy lifting to make this happen. Uh, you can support uh, shapes. Uh, you can support export to different file formats. You can encrypt and decrypt uh, these uh, files. Uh, you can format text in any way you want. You can do format uh, tables. You can do styles. Uh, really, about anything that you want to target in the file format, uh, you can. Um, we also have complete support for PDF. Uh, so you can see here uh, the same kind of generation for PDF documents. 
So we can do PDF tables, uh, we can do all kinds of shapes, uh, digital signatures, uh, just the whole nine yards there. With PDF, uh, we also have a special PDF viewer product that we make available. Uh, so if you're displaying a PDF file within your application and you don't want to uh, spin up an external PDF viewer or uh, you don't want to require users to have that dependency, then it's uh, super simple. You just embed this inside your application and it can load and display PDFs. Um, and uh, the latest product that we added under this uh, system is the uh, essential presentation file format. That's the PowerPoint library. And uh, again, very similar concept. Uh, you are able to target the PowerPoint um, system file, file format at the lowest level. So whether it's uh, bringing in smart art or you know, completely create a PowerPoint file from scratch uh, from your code. Uh, so if you have a need to generate a report automatically in PowerPoint file format, it's super simple to do that basically. So it's very, uh, uh, very much uh, uh, the same way. Uh, you write code and you have a single namespace and you bring it in and you're able to get things done and out through the system. So that's uh, a quick run through. And everything that we saw is also supported with the web. Uh, it's supported for mobile clients as well. So if you look at the file format uh, based samples on the online samples page, uh, I have here uh, the exact samples uh, that I showed are all available here. So I'm loading the Excel file uh, uh, thing and you can see the pivot table sample here. And I can actually just go in and say I want to create a document and um, you can just click on that, comes up, uh, it loads and uh, it can open it the exact same way. So all of that code is available across platforms basically. So that's a quick run through of our file format based uh, libraries. Uh, they're very, very useful for powerful reporting needs and go beyond uh, traditional reporting tools. If you want a traditional reporting tool, we have a SQL Server reporting services, RDL compatible uh, reporting tool that's uh, completely standalone, standards based. Uh, we have a separate set of videos on those. But uh, this is, if you're targeting at a lower level, if you want to take a particular file format and work with it in great detail and provide that extra user experience uh, for users of that file format, pivot table for Excel users, Spark lines, those kinds of things, do mail merge. Uh, this is the set of libraries for you. Well, thank you again for listening. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just contact us through our support system. Thanks again.